Greetings and welcome back to Tower of Time. I'm Catherine of Sky, and I apologize for the break in uh, updates here uh, or episodes. I um, I heard from the developers that they were going to launch a new update on Tuesday, and on Tuesday I had to go out of town, and things were happening, and life just got discombobbled and piled on top of me but now I am able to play again and as I sit here kind of looking at looking for the new changes and things before I start recording I'm just like settling in with the music and it is so relaxing and so I don't know just very evanescent and and, and just cradles you in this feeling of the place and the time it's it's very evocative i have to say i'm really enjoying it so um last time we played we had a lot of trouble with some of the orcs and things like that and as i was loading into various parts of the game one of the loading screens says be sure to use your crystals because the deeper depths of the tower will be um filled with them so that kind of encouraged me to maybe make some stuff so what i would like to do is we're gonna try to buff our peoples a little bit um, and what we're also gonna do is add enchantments now um, we don't actually have many things that can be enchanted um, but we're gonna try we need purple level items to do this um, so what do we got here we have here restores one HP every second on our tank character that's good that's very good um, right we do have this option for Eric to have a different wand or a different staff. So this one, let's see, magic penetration is good, mastery speed. I think we should use this one because it is purple, because we can enchant it. So let's go to the um, blacksmith's area and get his thing. We'll go to the enchant screen and we have, is a weapon range? Is it this one? I don't think it's a melee. Right. We could use a life drain. Um, and that may help us survive in the end stages of the game. Uh, it's not that effective for this particular character, though. I would love to have a weapon on our dwarf that has life drain. Um, what about jewelry? We have the mana cell increases mana. Oh, that doesn't count as jewelry. Okay, never mind. But we have a number of enchants at this point, which is really nice. We've got Life Drain, or we've got um, Obsidian Edge, 25% of damage is dealt as applied as bleeding over five seconds. And then um, we can recover mana as well, which is another nice thing. But I would love for my, uh, my tank to have a weapon. Uh, yeah, let's do that. What does he have? He, he needs a one-handed something, which I don't know if there's a difference between axes and swords and whatnot. Magic one-handed axe. Relic. Do they cost any different? They do not cost any different. Man, I honestly don't know what to choose for these weapons. Um, can I look? Can I determine what is different? Sword has we've got an axe there's a sword um eh. the only thing that is the only thing that i would worry about is armor penetration on stuff hmm is there any difference at all maybe it's is it just a visual difference this one has a stun chance okay so a club has a stun chance i think this has magic penetration, skill damage increase. That sounds awfully good, but that's on the on the green. This one doesn't have any of those things. Shoot, it's so hard for me to tell what I should I should make it, and I only have twelve crystals. Well, we could we save we have the game saved. So if I get something that I really don't like. <laughs> I can just uh, just sort of cheat a little bit and grab that. Um, stun chance might be a good thing. Let's try to craft a magic or a relic hammer. Tier one. Uh, let's craft it. Okay. But this has only armor penetration two. That would be bad. That would be really bad. Um, stun chance five percent. 
attacks per second, 4.1. So DPS is 7.2, which is fairly decent, but the armor penetration is terrible. Uh, I'm going to just try to craft another one, see if we get the same thing. Same thing. What about an axe? Two, uh, armor pen is three on that one. Sword, armor pen is one. So I'm going to, obviously I'm going to reload the game to get this back. So it looks like we cannot actually get an armor penetrating thing. So let's load this again. I think there. Yeah. Hello. Yes, we are here. Excellent. Ah, wow. So now I don't know what the heck I should get. Um, well, let's check our dwarfs. Uh, not that. Excuse me. There we go. Dwarf, what do you have? What is your armor penetration? You have six on yours. You've got six on this one. So <laughs> sadness reigns here. Sadness reigns. That's not good. Oh man. See, I feel like I cannot get any better than these with crafting, which is not good. Very much not good. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. This is really good too. This bow. This one. Oh, look at this one. We have... This one's got better armor penetration. Uh, but it's not... I wonder was it, why this is green. Huh. I, I don't know why that's not green and not purple. That's very odd to me. Oh, boy. What should we do then? What should we do? Um, I could enchant some of my armor. Let's let's see if we can go with that. Let's enchant something. Weapon jewelry. He has jewelry, but we do not need mana on him so much. Regenerative oils. No, that's only chest armor. Leg armor, we have other shields. Elemental protection. That sounds pretty good. You know what? We're going to use our, our crystals for that. So, uh, can I pick this? There we go. Enchant, please. Excellent. What else can we do? We can, you have a ranged weapon. So we're going to add the life drain to this. That's going to be fine. Okay. And, um, you have other armor, but we don't have any enchants for that. Dear me. Okay. And I think that's it. That's all we have. She has gloves. I'm wondering if I should just give people better armor, like better chest armor. Or something. Hmm. I mean, just wait, get out of this screen. And, um, what is his armor like? Hat is armor three, health regen one. You know what? Let's save the game. I'm gonna just save it. Please. Did it save? No, I didn't save it. I uh, will save it here, maybe. I guess we have a limited number of slots. Okay, back. And um, I want to see what we can get in terms of armor. So his hat has health regen. Let's go back to the blacksmith and create a hat for him. Right. Let's make you the best hat we can. Nope. This is an awful hat. Nope, nope, nope. Let's see what we, if we do it again. No, it just gives us health points. I don't know if that's random or not, but I don't, I, I don't want to give up the health regen for sure. Load, please. Oh, sadness. <laughs> I just don't know what to do with these people. No. Um, we could get him chest armor, maybe. Let's, let's go to chest armor. Um, What do we have in terms of chest armor? Craft this. Water resistance and might. Okay. That actually sounds decent. Five and water resistance and might. Okay. I, I'll take it. I will take that. That's not too bad. There's This one is crappy. Let's dismantle this. Yes. Now, there is supposed to be a way that you can transmute crystals to each to higher levels, I believe, but I do not know how to do this just yet, or it may not have been added yet. That could also be a possibility. 
Right. Let's see what else. Who else can we look at? She doesn't really need a lot of armor. Uh, life one movement speed is also good. Hmm. Now the thing with him is that I could give him a second weapon. People were telling me that um, they were suggesting that the dwarf does really good damage with two weapons and not to make him a tank. You should just make him a DPS person, uh, which I could definitely do. Um, we don't seem to have any appropriate weapons. So what I could do is I could give him a... For you, please, we'll have a magic... Let's give him a hammer. Yes. Okay. Stun chance 9%. Armor pen is only 2. But we can enchant this as well. Oopsies. Should have gone to the inventory. Okay. Alright, we'll take this over here. And, um... I don't know if it matters primary or secondary hand. I don't know. But that's okay. We'll, we'll figure it out. Enchant. I'm gonna enchant your this thing. And we're gonna give you life drain. I think. There we go. Very nice. Very, very nice. So it doesn't have as much armor pen, but hopefully we can give him some life out of that. Okay. <laughs> We've done stuff. Um, all right. Let's go to the tower. We'll go to the living quarters. Let's enter and play. Man, I wish I could upgrade some of my... The, the other people in my party. <laughs> it's like, no, you guys are walking around without upgrades. It's very sad. Oh, man. Uh, but it should be okay. We should hopefully be able to get this sorted out. And I'm going to redo some of the skill points and stuff like that as well. So let's do that first. Uh, right. We're going to go with our tank first. And somebody told me that they prefer to have the heal wounds kind of maxed so we're going to reset this stuff and we're going to get heal wounds uh, upgrade this and do this to the second level basically which is going to be interesting to use but what do we got here increase armor that would be very good yes please physical wave we want it uh, additional damage or stuns enemies i think the stun maybe is maybe better for this okay so that's that character um got all these traps mark hmm i think i like that the way it is um and we're gonna reset these and we're gonna use the ent as a um as a tank i think the earth blessing let's see yeah we need to Increase duration or inflict poison damage. I think we want to inflict the poison damage. Or, well, it's only five damage. Duration might be better, actually. Duration for it's by 10 seconds. But then it only adds three damage. Well, ah, uh, meowiness. It's so hard to decide, to be, to be honest with this, to be honest with you. Okay, and then the elemental will add one Point there the root prison I'm not that excited about we could do the damage which is a nice one healing totem what do we want increase elemental resistances by 15% and duration I'm okay I'm all right with that uh, the prison yeah let's do the, the damage for that one we could also do the healing totem and then add resistances yeah, let's do this one and add resistances to that. I think I would like that. I don't know. I'm just guessing here. We're just going to try this. It's going to be fine. Uh, and there's not actually much we can do here. I still want this adding the fire damage to everybody's stuff. Um, so this will be good. Okay, I think I, I'm like, I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm just trying my best. Um, yeah, let's save this. Um, do, 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 right there. Boom. Go. Okay. Right. So, mini map. Hi. We are down here, I think. 
So we've got this, these peeps up here. Is that the guy that we need? Oh, I forgot what we're doing. I'm going to say hi. How you doing? Right. These are, um, uh, DT, not resistant, but they are, uh, vulnerable. That's the word resistant, vulnerable to water and air. I'm going to try to fight them. We're going to do our, our best. Oh, the tower has her own history discovered along the way. It might surprise you. I am very interested um, in uh, in discovering the story of this, of the tower. I don't know if I've seen this map before. This is funky. Uh, right. We are surrounded on all sides, pretty much. Okay, so tank. You go here. Um, and then our two ranged fighters, you go there. And then... Dwarf, I would love you to fight. I forgot your name. I'd feel terrible that I forgot his name. Rackham, maybe? Possibly? Anyway, I forgot his his name altogether. I feel like we should move these people forward. There we go. This is a very big battlefield. Alright, I'm going to move these peoples closer. No, no, no. No, no, no. Go here, please. Nope. Go. Ah, right there. Thank you. There we go. Um, right. I guess we can start. Oh, steering in combat. Okay. Um, oh, I know that there are a few more tutorial things have been added. There's also a mini game in the very beginning of the game. Um, and then the tutorial is a little bit shorter, I'm told. Um, so this is just general directions. Plus left shift and issue orders. Okay. Oh, that's cool. Okay. I didn't know you could do group commands. That might be a new thing. Left shift and issue orders. Click to move all champions or click on an enemy to attack. One to four to select a champion. Q to R to select a skill. Okay. Okay. And then this is the same as we've had. We spawn locations. Okay. It must have reset the tutorials. Okay. Uh, we should probably do stuff. Yes. Buffs, buffs, buffs all around. Buffs all around. And Q. Right. Go for these guys first. Uh, whoopsies. I was gonna select one, shift four. No, that does not work. Shift, can I click and drag? No, I can't do that either. Oh dear me, that's not what I wanted. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, I thought it would just select the two. Right. Um, you need to please do this one that. The other thing. Nope. Oh god. Ah! Uh, let's move. You guys gotta move. Here, hit this guy. Okay, please attack that guy. Thank you. Finally. Alright. Four, go there. Don't, don't, don't walk through the poison, really. Okay. Here, you go there, please. You go here. Move out of there, please. Go, go, go. Where is my... Oh, my dwarf is just fighting nobody. I didn't click on the guy properly, I don't think. Fight. Go. Kill stuff. I want this guy to come closer to us. There we go. Come on, whack at him. Go, go, go. Okay, let's get our buffs up again. I heal everybody, I think. I have not yet used our Ent, which is okay. Alright, you go this way, please. Okay, or not. Don't need it. All right, we're 50. Whoa, hello. All right, we got to get these guys dead. Uh, let's do a... No, it's W. This is what I want, really. Get these guys deaded real quick. And do the R so they're stunned. Oopsies. Okay, okay, somebody is dying. That would be Eric. 
think let's put the healing totem right there. Let's also get out our Ent. Okay. I want you to come over here, please. Wow, that healing totem is doing much better than it was previously. Where is... Here, go here, please. Come on, come on, come on. Hit this. Uh, you do another heal, please. Uh, right. Come on. Good, good, good. Okay, you go this way, please, Mr. Tank. Do the... Oh, um, good, good, good. Wow. Let's move these peeps out of here. And you need to buff everybody again. Go and kill that guy, please. Alright, get your fire arrows. Man, it's been a while since I played this. I don't mind saying so. Alright, go, go, go. Can we get another totem up? Yes. How are you doing? You're doing okay. Man, we just have so much. Oopsies. Oh, we're done! Oh, wow, okay. So that wasn't that bad at all. Not too bad at all. I'm surprised. I, I thought we would be closer to death. Whew, okay. So, we have this area now. A lot of tools. Some of them were made of dark gold metal. It is incredibly strong. A piece of armor made of this would be almost unbreakable. Have we been in this area before? Where are we? Oh, we're here. It's another golden tree. What is that? Oh, stuff. There's treasure here. Right, there's a first explosive. Aha, okay. Okay, let's see. Let's look at our quest log then. Um, was that the orc? Aha, we got the first explosive here. Right. Um... We'll find some more. Can we go up this way? No. Apparently, we are too proud to climb ladders. It's a thing. Let's let's go up this way, and then we'll go to the left. Feels like that's a longer area. Is this uh, where we were previously? Yes. I sense there is no treasure here. This is how we came up here initially, I believe. Okay. Is there anything else that I can find? It's like a horseshoe pin. They're having a fun time. Um, right, we already saw the giant crane. Okay, what's up here? Hello, up here. There's a magic thing. Second explosive. Treasure is here. Is there anything in that chest? No. There's some treasure there. Thank you. Alright. Let's keep on going along here. Dee -dee -dee -dee. Whoa. Whoa. Hello. Oh my goodness. Your champions throw the first explosive at the orc leader. It explodes with a loud bang. It does little damage. The beast looks at your party, annoyed, but does not react. Huh. Your champions throw the second explosive at the orc leader. This time it does have a visible effect. The creature charges at your party. Oh dear. Yeah, that would be... Slightly inconvenient. Just slightly. Okay. Oh, I wasn't really ready for this. <laughs> no, 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 no. I didn't think that would start the battle. Well, that's okay. It'll probably... It, it, I bet it auto-saved. Wow, this looks like there might be treasure up there. No. See, you know what I'm interested in. I want treasure. I don't care about all the rest of this stuff, right? No. Uh, right. So... All right, let's just head out here. Let's go. All right, we're going to get our buffs. There we go. Oh my gosh, here he is. Here is the, the bad guy. There's the orc. Wow, he's half dead. This is excellent. Okay, let's get our Ent out as well. We're going to put him like right here. He's going to go forward, and um, that's going to be great. Let's, uh, yeah, that's fine. gonna all kick his butt. Right. We need to move out of here because this is not where I want to be. Nope. Get out of here. 
Come on, come on, come on. Let's put a healing totem also around my friends. Q. New boss stage. Okay. Um, you know what? I'd really like you to hit this guy. And you also, please, aim at that guy. For now. Just for now. Gotta get this guy to stop hitting us. Oh, no, 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 not there. Um, let's add attacks again. Q. Let's also do the W. There we go. And E. There we go. And R. Why not? <laughs> All of the things are happening. Buff again. Oh, I forgot what this is. That's a blind. Okay, we don't need it just yet. Can I? Oh, I can't do the healing totem yet. I think somebody died. Oh, no, no, no. My dwarf died. Oh, dear. That's not great. I should have done... Let's do the R, the blind. And then... Oopsies. No, no, no. E. Heal. Everybody. There we go. Enemy dead. Oh, we got another one of these things. Oh, oh, oh happy days. Right. Day's chance. I like that idea. Got one purple crystal. We're gonna need to catch up on our purple crystals because we have insufficient amounts. Okay, so we actually did this thing. Hooray. Alright, artifact crafting. We still need to do still need to look for stuff. A lot of stuff. Let's just again look for I, I haven't played this game in a while, so I wasn't looking for floating books and all that kind of thing either. Okay, so that was actually quite quite useful. Um at the moment, I'm not going to change weapons. Small metal balls. No, I think we're good with this. And this was, we, we discovered that on the inside. Oh, there's treasure in there? Really? Okay, we should go around and get it. <laughs> we should go around and get it. Yes. There's a cart. Okay, building materials. Come on, let's go around. There's treasure. There we are. One blue crystal. Okay. Okay. I'll take one blue crystal. That's not too bad. I don't mind it. There's that cave. Can I get in there? No. All right. Sadness. It is sadness that I cannot enter the cave. There. I should have just taken the teleporter. Right. Was this where we had stuff going on? This looks like it. Uh, that looks like an interesting direction to go. Got some treasure there. Wow, there are some big weaponry things, siege machines and whatnot. So this, um, obviously this was where that big guy was. I can't, there's nothing else down here apparently. Nothing in that wheelbarrow? Nope. Okay. Whoa, this looks very funky cool. <laughs> I gotta take a picture of this. It's very funky. Ancient chest, right. Okay, we found a wand. Wand of water. Okay. Very nice. But we're still no closer to getting the other things sorted out. Um, we had this boss. I think it was over here. Let's go and see if uh, we need to beat that boss. Oh, sorry. Sorry, game. My bad. My bad. My bad. Um... There was this guy over here, was it? Ish? Somehow? Oh, there he is. Right. Let's save the game again. Uh, radio. Right there is just fine. Just fine. Okay, let's go. And we'll see what we can do about him. Okay. Hey, dude. How you doing? Uh, right. He has water vulnerability and fire. We're gonna do our best to get rid of him. We have lots of fire skills, so I hope uh, we will be fairly well prepared for this. Okay, you guys move up here. This is kind of where I want all of us to be, really. Let's start the battle. All right, and we'll start with getting our buffs up. Oopsies, four Q. I really want Q, yes. Um, yeah. Oh boy, he's gonna be interesting to kill. Uh, 
Let's also get our Ent up. And, um... Anything else? Let's, uh... I'm gonna do the... There we go. And also that. Okay. We really don't want... Okay, let's use our, our mark as well. And R is what? Hunter's Traps. Alright, that's fine. Let's use the blind, though. Oh boy, who is that dying? Oh, that's my guy. That's my guy. Come on, come on back. Let's use our healing totem for everybody, basically. Come on, up. Move! Did, did he die? Not yet. He did not die yet. Good, and let me use your heal. One, two, three... Okay, we can still use the blind on him. Can also use this on him. And use, I don't know, something else on him. <laughs> no, this is really rough. This is really rough. Let's use the taunt again. Um, come on. Get more weapons. We can also use this... Um, the root prison at some point. Move back. You should go and attack him now. Because right now, my main guy is having a very hard time. Oh man, oh man. Go with this one and this one. This is just really hard. It's really difficult. Um, yeah, let's use the root prison. I think it's a time for the root prison. Oh no, come back, come back, come back! No, no! No! No, no, no! No, 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 no! Let's do the blind again. Wow, this is just a really difficult fight. I'm just gonna use everything I've got, essentially. I need to get that heal back up. Oh my goodness. Whoa. No! Oh, those are my traps. Okay, never mind. Uh, that didn't sound good. Let's use the blind on him. I Oh, my, my dwarf died. My dwarf totally died. Okay. We're almost there. Blind him. I have no mana left. Well, I can use that. Come on. Come on, whack away, guys. You can do it. Oh god, we might have problems now. Haha! <laughs> oh, this is bad. Oh god. Oh no! Oh no! He's poisoned now. Stop and fire. So come on, fire. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, that's the best. Totally killed him in the end. Oh dear. I think maybe we won. <laughs> maybe we won. Yes, we have won. Oh my goodness. All right. That was that was a bad battle. <laughs> it's a really bad battle. Right. So, Okay, so who are these for? I don't even know who these are for. Could be... Alright, these are two... Uh, life 1, health points 30. Okay, I think we'll... We'll just give them to our dwarf. For now. For now. For now. Obelisk. Statue from cave. Before your champion stands an ancient statue. When they approach, they feel the waves of energy washing over them. A deep voice suddenly fills the cavern. Have you come to receive a boon of stone? Approach and be blessed. Which of your champions should receive a reward? Plus five armor? Oh, yeah. Yes. Kane's armor has increased by five. Excellent. Oh, life is so good. It's a dusty scroll. 
You've found an ancient scroll with magic abilities. Magi Bastion 1. Increases skill damage by 10%. Ooh, that's nice. Sounds an, a nice enchantment there. Some treasure in there. Alright, so. We have now gone this way. And we are now still lost. <laughs> Don't know how to... We'll look. Let's look and figure out... Um, didn't we get the library key over here? I forgot if we... I think we got the key. I think we got it. Uh, but we didn't open the door yet or something. Uh, because I think that's pretty much what we have left, is just to get into the library. Let's check our quest list. We have artifact crafting, notes of Sleeth, grand library. Find the key. The key is found. Right. It's engraved with tiny books and scrolls. Okay. Well, I'm ready to go into the library. Save the game. Do, 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 do. Save. Let's go. I'm ready. Your champions have managed to find a key and open the Grand Library. Massive doors swing open, opening the way to an area filled with forgotten knowledge. Ah, can you smell it? The scent of dust and old parchment, so sweet and inviting. Right. Alright, let's go, friends. Let's fight off these horrible creatures. We've got a lot of different uh, enemies to fight here. Holy fuzzy cats. Okay. I remember this book part, but I don't remember this bit down here. I don't know if that's new or not, but it looks cool. Right. Um, let's get into position. Okay. Go. Oh. Oopsies. Engage this guy, please. Fantastic. I want you to withdraw a little bit. Come back in here. I want him to come out just a little bit. I also want to put down this healing totem for now. Come out over here. We'll just stun you for the moment. Right. Are these guys blocked, I wonder? Okay, you attack that guy, please. Okay, get your buffs back on. Oopsies. Definitely want to get this draining guy first. You can come back here. Come back to the fold. And everyone, I would love for you to stand still. And get in this range of the healing totem for a minute. Buffs up. Okay, they are all very happily engaged for there. Whoopsies. Come on. Come on, you get this guy, please. Come on, you need to kill him. Go on. Okay, good. Oh boy. Come back here. Come back here. Ent. Ent, you're going the wrong way. Oopsies. No, 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 no. Okay. Okay, I don't even know what's 
going on. Um, four. Yes, you get him, please. Buffs, anybody need? Nope, I think we're okay. There we go, okay. Right. Withdraw, please. Gotta withdraw over here. You go here, please, and we need to put down the healing totem there and get our Ent out here. One, please, Q, right there. Oh boy. Get this guy, and then four, you get this guy, and then two, please attack this. Alright, one, let's go with this. Okay. Oh boy. There we go. Okay, you attack this guy, please. Please come this way. There we go, there we go. Let's get our healing totem down right there. And you come back here, please. We need to get you back here. Oh man, this is just a mess. A total mess. Okay, do this, please. Oopsies. No, this is not what I want. I wanted R. Yes, that. And Q and W. Just put the mark down there. Okay, good, 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 good. Oh my gosh. No, no, no. Come here and attack this guy, please. <gasps> no, no, no. Oh my god. Oh dear. Things are going badly. Things are going really, really badly uh, at the moment. I'm gonna have you put down some traps right there. Oh my god. Uh. Okay, we're gonna heal. That'll heal everybody. I have no more mana for... Oh, that's it. Okay. Woo! Oh dear. <laughs> Wow, another wood staff. Okay. Has a really high stun chance. I should check that one out and see if it's any good as compared to what we currently have. Man, each of these battles is really rough, I have to say. Very, very rough. All right, the current one I have has a day's chance. I wonder what the difference between days and stun is. I don't know. This is the new one. Um... This is actually a fair bit better, isn't it? It is very much better. But it doesn't have life drain yet. So we may... Let's recycle this one. Yes. And we'll recycle this one. Yes. Just get the blue crystals back. Yes. Okay, good. Okay. Um, what's here? Wow. Okay. There's a big tree here. What does the tree say? Your champions enter a large library. There they see row upon row of shelves filled end to end with books. There must be over a thousand here, perhaps more. Another treasure trove. We should organize a way to transport these to the surface. Yes, we must share this knowledge freely among our peoples. There is much to be gained from these tomes. There is no time for that now. We will do it later, once we finish our mission. Who put you in charge? Our master is noble in his aims, and he would not seek the benefit that these books can bring to... Or would he not seek the benefit that th these books can bring to us all? People in the world above are desperate, and who knows how long it will take us to explore this place to the bottom. Do you not remember what is at stake here? What will a few books do for them? Will they feed the children? Will they prevent a volcano from erupting and drowning us in ash and soot? Enough, just as I said, led by your emotions. 
Let us first look around to see if there's anything of immediate use, and then decide what to do. Fine. Yes, indeed. Okay, we have the tree. Wooden board. What is an eternity? The state when all clocks lose their meaning, for the time is without the beginning or the end. Okay. It's an old book here. Sleeth's Notes, 24th Cinder's Prime, 125 AS. Finally, after so many days and nights, I have found the formulae. The power to open a door to another realm is mine. The world shall see my greatness. Oh, how the people on the surface will worship me. I will bring them their salvation. I will gather followers from the alien worlds, and I will sweep our enemies away, forging an empire. I will become the greatest Magus that ever lived. I, Sleeth. Uh-huh. Okay, let's go this way. Whoa, there's a clock puzzle in here, it looks like it. Um, anything out here? Let's open the chests. What do we got? Armor? Bow? Okay. It's a blueprint. Ooh, clockwork archives. You found a tome that gives some insights into the basic of clockwork technology and how it can be fused with magic. Although it is merely a primer text for novice technomancy engineers, it already contains very useful techniques for channeling willpower into physical manifestations. You can upgrade the heroes located in Artificer Hall to max level 3. Yes! Oh, that sounds so good. All right. Races of Antara, Artara. Humans. Humans are the youngest of the races of Artara, yet lie at its very heart. They are responsible for commerce and information exchange. Though their origins are lost in the deep, thick mists of history, it is known that their first recorded king, Lectes, Lectes the hunter, brought the first spell of harmony to the land. Upon his death, his three sons split the kingdom and started the Thousand Year War. Today, they ensure that goods and knowledge flow from end, one end of the land to the other. They are just and fair in their trade, never exploiting their geographical advantage, being settled in the central part of the land. Okay, looks like we have Frostlings. The mighty Frostlings dwell on the icy plains that cover the north of Artara. They hunt ice whales for meat, the most tender in the land. Uh, and their main export trade. They are also restless explorers. Many an expedition has left their ports to journey across the Great Sea, but those that returned reported nothing but an endless ocean. Despite their size and might, they are a peaceful race, and their greatest contribution to the land is perhaps cultural. The greatest philosophers, poets, and singers that ever lived were born in the cold swathes of the north. They are also the historians of Artara, able to store detailed memories of events past in their treasured memory stones. They sound very interesting. Okay. There's a scroll down there. Races of Artara. Shadows. Shadows dwell under the scorching sun of their great desert. Their origins remain a profound mystery, despite the depth and breadth of research that has been done into the subject. It is said that one day many shadows, scattered over the endless parched expanse, converged into one and gained sentience. This is, of course, discarded by most scholars as pure rubbish. They believe that they originally dwelled deep underground, gradually emerging to the surface across generations. Even today, they are the most secluded of all the peoples, notoriously shy in the presence of other races. Their main trade goods are exotic minerals found only deep under the sands of their home. However, their greatest contribution is their intelligence. The faculties of the greatest ac academies are priding themselves on the number of shadow scholars they employ. Employ. Their sublime reasoning in mathematics and all the natural world have driven the rapid development of our world over the last hundreds of years. This is quite interesting, finding out about the world. Ah, the dwarves. Dwarves occupy the mountainous western part of Artara. They dwell in great underground cities that are the result of their mining activities that span millennia. Ancient elven texts speak of the first discovery of the dwarves when they emerged unexpected from the Arkan Caverns and laid siege on Lothrien, the holy city of the elves. This prompted animosity between their races that lasted for who knows how many scores of generations. Even today, few outsiders have witnessed the deepest parts of their great 
grand halls, though all know of the grand Arken Hall, whose vault is said to be deeper than the tallest mountain is high. Today they supply most of the mining resources to other races and have led the way in craft work, gradually yielding technologies from the abstract musings of our learned academies, as they do metal from ore. Okay, another dusty scroll. There are tales of a few people of all races being able to actually drink aqua aquis. Those who can do so become immune to all forms of water attack, yet the drink breeds madness and they are soon drawn inexorably to live in the deep oceans, wandering aimlessly till their deaths. Hmm. This scroll has, I don't want my champions to go. No, we're gonna leave it. That's okay. I'm scared of these scrolls. <laughs> Alright, the elves. Oh, I was wondering when we'd get to the elves. Elves are an ancient race, laying claim to the title of the first. They arrived from across the great sea when the land was still young and shaped differently than it is today. Little is known of those early days, since elves do not speak of it. It is said, however, that back in those old days they were a savage race, ruled by fear and blood. Today they are caretakers of the endless living forests of the east. Their strong bond with the earth makes them perfect gardeners. Wheat and other grains are the principal areas of their production. They also collect all manner of wild fruit and are wise in the ways of healing. Their capital city, Lothrian, is built around the largest live oak in the world. Its tops lost in the cloud most, most days and forbidden to any but the elves. Ooh. Right, we have some clocks here. We have a teleporter. We've got more shells. All right, another dusty scroll. It is said that long, long ago, each race had descended from brute beasts. It was a time when the strongest survived by preying on the weakest. While this dark time is a thing of the past, the heritage surely remains influential today. That sounds like it could give me some nice melee properties, maybe? I'm gonna give it to my dwarf, I think. Doesn't sound, oh, might has increased by two, excellent. Yeah, I didn't sound like it had any negatives, so I felt fairly safe in getting that. All right, what does the wooden board say? No, it's what is an eternity when all clocks lose their meaning. All right, so we're gonna have to figure out this whole clock puzzle. Is there, are there any clues here? Secrets of time. Hmm, that's very interesting. And what do the clocks do? What do they say? This one is pointing at, what does it do when we... Okay, so it does, it just changes the hour when we go around. I wonder if we turn them all to 12 o'clock, if that will make a difference. Oopsies. There we go. Here we go. Nice. That was cool. <laughs> nice. Alrighty. Um, right. The Riddler. We got an achievement for this. I don't know how much is left. We've already gone for almost an hour. I think this is a good place to stop. I think next episode I would love to get, I think, uh, Eric can be upgraded with the Artificer Hall being upgraded. So we're going to do that next time. But for now, thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time.